Welcome to the Baltimore art scene where you'll get a sneak peek at all kinds of art growing in Baltimore's creative communities. From the new in town to the underground, there's everything from dance, music, theater, fashion, galleries, and more. And we're here to let you know so you can get out and go be a part of the Baltimore art scene. Today's episode is part one of a series on creative collaborations. First, we'll introduce you to a new project creating quite a buzz on the Baltimore art scene. Akimbo takes us on a journey of dance through the Station North Arts and Entertainment District with Baltimore dance companies, musicians, visual artists, and the venues that open their doors to them. Have you heard of Akimbo? Akimbo. Akimbo? What are you talking about? I don't know what Akimbo is. Hey, what's Akimbo? Um, I just heard about it. It's a dance thing. How did you come up with Akimbo? The name, the project, the program, where did it all come from? Akimbo is, stands for four things in my mind. Akimbo is standing with standing in Akimbo with your hands on your hips. Well, that's, that's an arts advocate. We are Akimbo. Okay. Number two, Akimbo is winding pathways. And this is the journey that people are going to go through in Station North. Number three, akimbo is moving your legs and arms all over. Okay. Some people say, oh, that person fell and went akimbo. So akimbo, to me, is movement and dance. Ah. And lastly, akimbo is this project. Akimbo founders Nicole Martinell and Sydney Pink hope to create an explosion of dance, collaboration, and color through the visual and performing arts. There's gonna be 15 plus dance companies performing in alternative spaces, including galleries, restaurants, bars, parks, on the street, uh, all through Station North Arts and Entertainment District in Baltimore. No matter where you're walking on your journey through Station North that day, you are going to peek into a gallery or walk through a park, and you're going to run into live art and music. A company is paired with a venue, and as they're creating their work, they are highlighting that venue and the artwork within that venue through dance. We're here on the Baltimore art scene with Steve Carson, the owner of Bohemian Coffee House. He is just one of the venues opening his doors to artists during Akimbo. Welcome, Steve. Hey. Now, who's the artist that's collaborating with you for Akimbo? Eve Hanan is, is the um, she's the organizer of this of the event in this particular venue, but she's also a performance artist. Well, her, her idea um, is sort of to go with an Arabic theme, and um, she actually sat down and explained to me the culture, the coffee culture there is actually stronger than it is here, and it got me really excited. And um, she plans on having belly dancers and really doing some some visual changes to the space. Um, to make it actually more bohemian than it already is. So I think that's going to be really cool. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your trio and what it is that you do as Electric Heart Engine. Well, we are a group of artists, um, dancer, musician, um, multi-talented um, artist over here, Danielle. And we just like to uh, collaborate um, and make art. Be creative and use a way to fuse all the art forms together. Akimbo artists took to the streets for a little taste of what's to come. There were people on the street that just sort of stumbled onto these things. And um, their reactions were amazing. People were bringing out their cameras and asking questions and um, saying, what is this? And uh, so there seemed to be a lot of excitement for this kind of work. We're doing a combination of authentic movement and contact improvisation. And this environment in particular is, is really exciting. There's a lot of dancers and there's a lot of people moving and very excited about moving and uh, being in an outdoor environment as well with all the cars and the people walking around you and trying to interact with you when you're in a place that is really personal. It, it makes it makes the the movement um, and the expression that comes out. It's really interesting. 
What has it been like for you to see these different artists meet and come together in this project? That has been so heartwarming and rewarding. I, I see community building at the forefront. Well, we hope you will plan your visit to Station North and join us for the Akimbo Project September 15th. You can check out more about the Akimbo Project and plan your visit at www.akimbobaltimore.com. That's all for this edition of TBAS, but check back with us for part two of our September series on creative collaboration. We'll take a look at a performance that pays tribute to a musical legend and activist who's inspiring a new generation of interdisciplinary artists. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of TBAS. So until next time, go on out and explore, because there is so much more to the Baltimore art scene. Welcome to the Baltimore Art Scene. On this edition, we have Michelle. Oh my gosh, Nicole Martinell. Everyone calls me Michelle, that's so <laughs> weird. Welcome to the Baltimore Art Scene. On this edition, we have, ooh, that little motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> he is just one of the venues opening his doors to artists during a Kimbo. Welcome, Steve. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I promise. I'm right there. That was hysterical. <laughs>